a, a red rose on his chest. Sorry, man, oh, a great throw, and this is superb from Freeman. And Freeman offloads to Daly, and Daly gets the try. Freeman coming off his wing, and then he's just distributed it straight to Daly. A good combination of right wing to left wing coming off the wings. England now within 12 metres or so. Away five! Yeah, ball's there. Mitchell chooses to work the short side, sees a chance, sees a gap. He's still going, is Mitchell. Mitchell, has he got there? The referee says he has. He's allowed to get up, the tackle was not made. Just there. So the young Northampton Saint earning his fifth gap for England. Plays an unfamiliar role. The pick up from Ben Earl. Earl will try to go himself, look at the power, and the outstretched arm, and Ben Earl, with just 13 men on the pitch. Williams there from Ben Earl, after a difficult year last year, he's had his injuries, he's come back fitter and stronger than ever. England camp all week, we're talking about how much they want to entertain this crowd. A crucial time in the match, surely this. There's Ford, Ford out to Daly. Daly to Dingwall, and England have their try. Brilliant hands, Elliot Daly. Take about now here, the catch here, look at that catch, fingertip stuff, still gets that ball away. And the dive for the line. Oh. Eddie Jones did for Sam Underhill, he's playing alongside Underhill now, and here goes Earl, away for Kerr. And Ford, the little closer ball, this can work nicely for England, the offload, and Fairbank is in! England were under a little bit of pressure, but look at Ben Earl, he gets away from the scrum. Danny Kerr got a space to go into, defenders committed. George Ford takes it right to the line, gives it off the hip to Daly, and Daly, simple pass to Fairbank. But it's this pass here, it's that pass there, whereby you've got Slade right at the front end, Daly gets beyond, and it's a walk-in for Furbank. Smiling from ear to ear, his first touch of the afternoon, dare I say it. There for Tackle. Furbank Stop again, on. who's just capable of asking that question yeah, of the defence. Ball is there for Faye Completely untouched! It was the late movement by Faye Waboso, though. I think Cam Redpath's not got the chance to look outside himself. And that is a thundering tackle coming in there on Tommy Freeman. But England still have it through George Ford. Looking to explore that blind side. There is Lawrence. Ole Lawrence. Furbank. He's picked to do this running back. And what an extent. Well, it's the carry, really. Nash feels that all over his body. Then it's just a numbers game. Four to two. Four to three. Just go through the hands. Do everything you've done in the training paddock since you were four years of age. Dolly Lawrence, you were just on the end of a very good move. Crystal clear, it wasn't so much in uh, in Murrayfield after those first ten minutes, Thanks, but that is an amazing start. England again, he is under hill to a Tose. No, the opportunity, and it's George Burbank who collapses the Ireland defence. But again, it's a flowing move as Ireland like to flow, use the ball. There was no way Crawley was going to uh, stop yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Good hands, out of contact, two Fine. forwards, yeah, balance Fine. combining forwards and backs. Furback knows he's got it, he's licking his lips. Alex Mitchell! Tried to hit the offload away. Chesham! Can't score it against the post anymore, at the base of the post, to be more accurate. Mitchell! England no! England score! Supporters wanted hard grit, determination. Well done, Ben Earl. He must be close to over 100 metres now in the championship through contact, beyond contact. But that, that, that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. It goes to Chesham. It's gone to ground again. Look, France looking to disrupt. I'm happy. I'm happy there on that far side. Mitchell. Slade. Oh, and through goes Lawrence, and England have their try. 
And that's Figo who runs the French defence. Normally absolutely superb, but when you've got someone coming at an angle, slightly off, Figo ain't going to bring him down. Mitchell considers the options. Go short. Lawrence barreling his way over, and he's done it. And this is good. You've got Freeman on the wide outside. They get past the edge. That's good. Barret can't stop in there. The momentum is on England's way. That's it, right round the edge. Biel Berry can't get him, and then it's the big lads up the middle. Underhill as well, brought down by Olivon. And then Ben Early, think for all of the money with his power, with his strength, he's going to get there. Mitchell prefers that blind side, and why not if Ollie Lawrence is there? Both physically and emotionally. Oh, and through goes Earl. And now, surely they must finish it. Smith with a step, and they are in. England are rampant. Ben Early is supported, he's made the break. Comes from the line out. This is far too easy. This Genge gives him the little pop pass. Beautiful. And then he's got the aware for Marcus Smith on his right hand side. He's calling for the ball. A little step. He's inside the French fullback. And watch them celebrate. Remember his role over the years for England. He was huge in that semi final win in 2019 against the All Blacks. What a way it would be to sign off if he could score a try. A brilliant yes! hand! And here go England! And Freeman has his first Test match try. Crucial, crucial, crucial. Mario Toje just there, normally just picking and going. That time he had a little bit of space. Beautiful hands, George Ford. You've got the kick to come, but you've made that try for Freeman. Watch this, watch this. Absolutely beautiful. Marcus Smith just shoveling on. Freeman in at the corner.